Alright guys, time for Coastal Village. So this is the first of the South Pacific's levels, so uh, go ahead and come over here. There's a ledge you want to get out on. There's a small med pack over here. Alright, so come up here, grab the small med pack. After you grab the small med pack, then go ahead and turn to the right, jump back into the water. There's like a little estuary over there. In that estuary, I guess, is uh, where you find the smuggler's key. So go ahead and swim into this inlet, I guess, and grab the smuggler's key. It's right here. Go ahead and tick that, and then go ahead and uh, roll around. Go ahead and swim back this way. So we're about to come to shore on the beach. Well, actually, we don't want to go to shore just yet because there is a secret over here. And you might notice there's like this little, this big rock in the water. And this is going to be how you get to the secret. You might notice there's a small med pack on there. The small med pack is not the secret, but it points you in that direction. So from here, uh, there's a grabbable ledge that Laura can do a running jump to. When she does the running jump, uh, the tile right here is sliding, so she'll need to uh, veer right, or shimmy right, I guess. Grab this, and then she'll climb up. And then from here, she's going to jump onto this platform. That gives her credit for the secret, but uh, there's some M M16 clips over there. So go ahead and do a running jump, grab the ledge, climb up, and grab the M16 clips. All right, then go ahead and turn around and uh, swim back in the water. <coughs> when Laura comes to shore, uh, there's two different ways you can go. There's a shortcut way, and then there's a main way. So let me go ahead and save the game real quick. I'm going to do the shortcut for you guys. All right, so to take the shortcut, go ahead and come down this slope that's hidden over here. All right, so then you're going to go through this little dark area, and... Uh, yeah, you're going to go over this puddle. You're going to climb up over this ledge. You're going to fight a native guy when you come over here. Just You might see a bridge over your heads. Just come this way a little bit. There's going to be a native guy coming your way. They're not that tough, though. All right, so if you see the bridge up above, that's where you'll be if you take the longer route. But we're taking the shortcut for right now, so come up here. There's going to be a dart trap. Be careful. They're poison darts. All right, go ahead and jump across that. There's another native guy when you come over here, so get out the Uzis, or whatever weapon you want to use, but I like Uzis for this. All right. So now, coming over here, is a waterfall. So this is going to be the point where I go ahead and reload. But yeah, I'll show you guys. This is the waterfall. And I'll tell you guys when we're back at this point on the longer route. So let me reload. All right, so back to where we were. So now we're going to take the longer route, much longer route. We're going to go this way. And then we're going to go ahead and go past this campfire. We're going to use our smuggler's key right here. <coughs> and then it's going to drop a hatch. Lara is then going to go ahead and drop through the hatch. And then you might notice there's like this uh, sort of catacomb-like passage. Okay, be very careful because there is a trap here. So go ahead and crawl. And yeah, it looks like somebody wasn't so lucky there. All right, so we're going to enter this sort of uh, cavern lake area, and there's going to be a couple of uh, crocodiles in there. There's also a native guy shooting poison darts up above. Yeah, there's a native guy. I don't think he can get you with the dart from, like, right here. I think there's one more crocodile in the water. <sighs> All right. So we're going to bait him back this way.
Alright, I think they're both dead. Alright, so then go ahead and come uh, up over this rock. There's going to be monkey bars up above. Go ahead and jump up to the monkey bars and uh, go ahead and make your way across. Although they're not really monkey bars, they're more vines. But yeah, Laura can um, make her way along these vines. Alright, Laura can then drop, land here, <coughs> and then jump this way. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go into like a little crawl space because there's going to be some uh, M16 rounds. So go ahead and come this way and jump up here, climb into the crawl space, and get the M16 rounds. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and back up. And drop. We're going to lose a little bit of health. That's okay. Um, Alright, then we're going to go ahead and make our way over here. Climb up. Alright, so do a running jump over here. And then there's going to be another set of monkey bars over here. So you can see where we killed that last uh, native guy. I then go ahead and drop down, go ahead and come this way. Let's go ahead and save. Jump to this sliding tile, slide down. There's going to be another dark guy that spawns when you land here, so you might pull out the M16. See if you can uh, shoot him from where he is. He should be up there. I think we got him. Alright, so jump over those spikes and get to the ladder. Go ahead and climb the ladder. And there's going to be, I believe, a med pack at the top. Uh. And we get a large med pack. So go ahead and grab the large med pack. After you grab the large med pack, go ahead and hang fr uh, from the ledge again and shimmy to the left. Looks like uh, this guy dropped a small med pack. Alright, so go ahead and jump uh, onto this rock. Uh, hang from the ledge and shimmy to the left. There's a little slit there that Laura can uh, uh, shimmy through. Here, Laura can jump up here. Go this way. She can back up, do a running jump, grab this ledge. This is where you get the second secret. So from here, Laura can jump to this rock. Yep, that's the second secret. Alright, so go ahead and come back over here, jump to here, then jump to the bridge. Alright, then go ahead and go right. So, there's two ways. There's left and right. I don't believe there's anything to the right. But, uh, go on this next tile, you spawn a native. Alright, so when you come over here, make sure you crouch because... Uh, there's like a rotating blade that you don't want to chop Laura up. Oh, also, you might notice there's like a window up there. So, basically what's going to happen is if Lara goes into the light, she's going to activate a trap. Don't do that. You want to go ahead, come over here and push this switch. That's going to uh, close off the light. So, that's going to disable a trap. All right. I'm going to show you guys another shortcut. Let me go ahead and save again. Alright, so if you guys are wondering, 
a shortcut is this way, so be careful. There is another dart trap, so just run through it, then land on the slide, and then go ahead and come down here, and you're going to end up in this native sort of village area. Native village area. So, yeah, there's native guys. Um, we'll be down here a little bit later, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and take the longer route. So what we're going to do now... Um, I guess is go into the water and we're gonna let uh, the river sort of carry her down. She'll go down the waterfall, she'll take a little damage there. Nothing too bad. And look at this, this is exactly where we were before when we took the, sh the first shortcut route. Alright, so Laura can then jump into the waterfall, like behind it, and she finds one of three serpent stones. There's three of these uh, serpent stones that we need. We need three to get through, like, a gate. So, we got one. Go ahead and come this way. And we're going to uh, make our way up into the trees in order to find another one. Oh, we're also going to find a secret. So, don't forget, there's a native guy over here, so take him down. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and come this way. We're going to go ahead and go up into this tree. Go ahead and climb up. So, we're going to go ahead and, and make our way this way, because there's a couple of goodies that we want. Okay, there's some shotgun shells over here. Alright, so now go ahead and jump um, to this part of the tree. You see there's a serpent stone over there. Alright, so for here you need to do a running jump. So walk to the ledge, back up, and then do a running jump. Grab this uh, tree branch or whatever it is. Turn right. Over here there's a secret. Alright, so we got three secrets. Oh, also on this level it's gonna say that we got three of three secrets there's four secrets on this level there's not three so if we get the the next secret the fourth secret it's literally gonna say four of three secrets at the end of the game it'll say 60 of 59 secrets so technically uh, you can miss one secret in the game and you can still get all hallows cuz like I guess I guess they've got it queued to where you can technically miss one secret and still get the bonus level, but uh, any more, if, if it doesn't queue you as you get it, get all the secrets, then yeah, you don't get all Hallows. <coughs> Alright, so what we can do now is uh, go back into the river, I guess, and we'll go back down the waterfall, land right where we were before, and this time we're going to jump this way to the ladder. Alright, so there's a little cave here. Laura can make her way through. There's going to be another ladder over here. She can go ahead and climb up this one. Alright, come up here. There's going to be another native. Go ahead and take care of him quickly. Probably use pistols because uh, he can't get you from where he's at. Alright, so we still need one serpent stone, so we're going to come up here to get it. Serpent stone is that way. Go ahead and grab it and then come back this way. Alright, so we, I believe we should have three Serpent Stones now, and we're going to use all three of them right here in the receptacles. 
Alright, use that one, use this one, next one. So after we go through here, this is where we get to that native village that I showed you guys earlier. Alright, so there's going to be a native guy when we come out here. You guys are wondering what's back here. I don't think there is anything. We're going to go ahead and go down a little bit lower. We can use our pistol. There's going to be a couple more native guys. We can probably backflip a little bit. We could probably retreat in time. Alright, so... Uh, come in here, there's going to be a rocket to pick up. Goes well with a rocket launcher. Alright, if you guys are wondering as to what is in this hut, I don't think there is anything. Alright, go ahead and come this way. Uh, this guy, he's got a poison dart. You want to kill him quickly because he can sh hit you with a dart, and that's going to mess us up bad on the no loads n or on the no meds run. So there's going to be another native over here. You can easily take care of him with M16. There's going to be another uh, guy with the poison darts. You can come over here, pop two desert eagle rounds in him, take care of him. All right. Also, do not go into the quicksand. I mean, Laura will be sucked under. I don't think there's any way to get out. We'll go across the quicksand to the next level, but we can't do it on this one. Alright, go ahead and turn this wheel. And that's gonna raise like uh that's gonna raise like a little drawbridge or whatever you call it. It's gonna raise a hatch. So we we took care out that native guy. Um we go ahead and move back this way, there's gonna be more native guys. Yep, sorry. Take out this native guy, too. Oh, also, l let's save real quick. I want to show you guys something. Alright, so let me show you guys something. Over here is a hut. This hut shows a large med pack, but it's really quicksand, so even if you jump over there... Like, Laura cannot get that med pack because the quicksand will, s will sink her under. And there's no way to get out of this quicksand, so just don't even go inside this hut at all. Just skip it. Yeah, let's go ahead and reload. Alright, now we do want to go in this hut because uh, there's a small med pack that we want to acquire. All right, now go ahead and come this way. And if you see where we raised the little, uh, we raised the little bridge. There's a platform up above that Laura can climb up into, and she'll get the shotgun shells. All right. Also, uh, there's another secret if you go around this hut. Go ahead and come this way. Also, there's going to be a native guy that spawns, so take care of him quickly. Go ahead and pick up those M16 rounds and uh, shotgun shells. Also, take care of these native guys. <laughs> Alright, so... There's gonna be another native guy that spawns around this corner. He's got a poison dart, so you wanna kill him quick. Alright, 
So in this hut, there's like a a little wheel we want to turn, and that's going to open up a little hatch that we need. It'll enable us to get into like a treehouse. <laughs> but there's also a native that spawns behind us. So kill him quick, Desert Eagle is good. <coughs> Alright, so this is the little hatch that we opened. We can now get into this treehouse. So, alright, go ahead and uh, make your way up the ladder. All right, so then we're going to come in here, and let's see what else we got. We're going to use a shotgun. There's going to be another native guy in here. Yeah, two shotgun blasts should bring him down. All right, now go ahead and come in here. We can't... Okay, like, if you see... We cannot go through those uh, flaming tiles, so what we'll need to do is go this way. And um, there's actually some monkey bars over here, or vines that you can grab onto, so... If you look above Lara, there's monkey bars that she can grab onto. She'll go ahead and make her way down these monkey bars to get over the spikes. Alright, so come over here, there's a switch you're going to pull. That's going to go ahead and uh, raise a platform that enables you to get across them. But there's also a native guy that spawns behind you, so take care of him quickly. Alright, so we can go ahead and drop down. We're going to re-enter the treehouse again. Alright, then go ahead and jump over here. Alright, so then do a running jump to the platform and then jump again. Alright, press this switch, it's gonna open up the gate, but also, there's the native guy. Oh. By the way, do not press that one, so let me, let me show you what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. But like here. If you press this, Lara gets incinerated. So yeah, we don't want that. Alright. So, now go ahead and wait for this to come back. It's gonna go ahead and... Sorry about that. Alright, so, now what we want to do is get through this blade trap, so... Just go ahead and time it. I would sprint if I were you. And then come over here, and then you can go ahead and turn this little lever, I guess you can call it. And for one thing, it opens up this door right next to you, but it does something else. It also opens up something underwater for you to get through, so there's a little pool of water that you can come over to. And then uh, Lara can go down here. There is going to be a crocodile, so... Uh, you can swim under it. You can go ahead and make your way this way. I guess from here, Laura, Lara can probably um, take care of the croc. see if I can do it here. Alright, there we go. I'm trying to maximize my kills. Alright, so now uh, we're about to make the end of the level. We're going to go ahead and climb this ladder.
And then we're going to go this way. So, there's then a point here. Um, if Laura stands at the edge, you can do a running jump, but press and hold action plus up. Um, Laura can end up bumping into the roof and bounce off. All right, so we get to watch a little cutscene. Not interrupting, am I? Not bleeding, are you? Not about to use this place as a dunny? No, and <laughs> no. Good. Good. Just don't want any fly-carrying visitors in here. Right. I understand. What happened? Woke up in the jungle with one of those little blokes snacking on my leg, didn't I? A tribesman? It isn't usual for them to eat right off the bone like that. Well, it was dark, and I, I never got the bugger, so I can't be sure. Something spooky is in that jungle. Our air carrier well, I think crashed it up in the mountains. Must have been one of those raptors. Every night some of my men would vanish without trace. Others fled in fear. Then this happened. So I brought the men down to shore for safety. Only for us all to be captured by this greedy mob. Some sort of sacrifice to their god who lives up in the hills. Though it seems I've not been invited to the barbie. Maybe you're the dessert. Ripe flesh can be a bit of a delicacy around here. For real? Listen, we'd better get you out of here. Do you know how the tribe crossed the swamp down there? Which stones they tread on? Yeah, but, uh, I'm staying put. With this wound, I'd be like a fill-up station to every diseased bug in the bush. I'd rather be the main course of the real feast. Hey, if you see any of my men alive in there, direct them to the North Shore, will you? Away from here. Of course. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Coastal Village. Uh, look at that, four of three secrets. So, yeah, there's actually four secrets on this level. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and stay tuned for Crash Side. That's a pretty cool level.